recently one of my viewers had asked a question whether circumcision needs to be done is it a problem is it healthy what are the pros and cons let us see them in today's video hi friends i am dr karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel queries explanations asked by you are answered via short videos which are released every week if you want to see such videos kindly subscribe to this channel if you have any queries kindly put it in the comments below i'll try to answer them in subsequent videos this week's query is regarding circumcision that is removal of penile foreskin in males okay we have to understand this has two implications one is a religious or a cultural implication the other is a medical implication religious or culturally african tribes jews muslims all do this as part of their religious requirement in fact even in many uh, no aboriginal population in northern america in australia even in india some of the tribes used to do this so this is a religious requirement the other half is medical indication medical indication is usually done for phimosis that is a tight foreskin where it might lead to problems medical problems or infection of the foreskin called recurrent balanopostitis because of these your doctor might advise you to undergo a circumcision when it is medically indicated it is like any other treatment you have to undergo the treatment there should be no queries or no question regarding this but since this is also being done in a religious or a cultural basis and worldwide it is done for you no know, so many number of people people have misconceptions and queries regarding this what is the truth what are the pros and cons of doing circumcision jews especially do it on day 8 of their baby's life in the newborn period itself muslims may do it early or sometimes as a child or little older and many of the aboriginal tribes in africa also do it very early in fact early infant circumcision that is newborn circumcision has even more benefits than circumcision done in later life okay what are these benefits it definitely reduces urinary tract infections in the first year of life it reduces hiv transmission it reduces other sexually transmitted infections it reduces the risk of penile cancer so okay especially if circumcision is done early it reduces penile cancer but studies done no in adult men have revealed that even if done later the hiv transmission risk may reduce up to 50% and the penile cancer risk may reduce up to 30% even if circumcision is done in later life because the penile cancer risk is closely associated with foreskin smegma and balanitis infection of the foreskin so that's why if you remove that foreskin these risks are reduced are there any cons now usually there is negative perception associated with the circumcision so there used to be because it is a religious practice of a cultural practice there used to be many views regarding problems or risks associated with circumcision most of these are related to the method and the performer doing it usually untrained personnel doing it may result in complications and problems if it is done by trained professionals it should not lead to any long term problems in fact all the pros of circumcision are long term and all the cons the problems of circumcision are short term like an injury a risk of bleeding all this will be minimized if done by well trained professionals in a supervised manner in fact in developed countries many of the newborn or infant circumcisions are done with simple devices under local anesthesia not much like a surgery but if it is done for older children or for men it should be done like a surgery in the proper way but anyway both of these will not have any long term problems one of the most bizarre or odd accusation against circumcision is it leads to decreased sensitivity in men 
but study is done in circumcised versus uncircumcised males no comparing their partners no all that have revealed there is no decrease in sensitivity following circumcision so if medically indicated circumcision should not be a question at all because any treatment should be done to alleviate the problem even if done for cultural or social or religious reasons it is still a practice which has many benefits so many of the pediatric societies today even if they don't advise universal circumcision they still advocate if a person or a, if a parent wants to do circumcision they can be listed the benefits and the risks whatever be associated and these benefits need to be told to the parents in fact this is the position statement latest position statement of the american academy of pediatrics also so this has to be the carry home message circumcision if medically indicated needs to be done circumcision even if done for religious or cultural reasons especially if done in early in life has lots of benefits the risks whatever be associated can be reduced by doing it with professionals in a supervised manner hopefully this would have cleared your confusions if you found this video useful kindly share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos kindly subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye